What's going on, y'all? Sorry, it's been a minute, but it's uh, Crow back here, back in Crow's kitchen. How you doing? And uh, today we got another alcohol review. And um, I kind of contemplated, should I do an alcohol review tonight or the chew review that I'm waiting to do? Uh, it'll be in the next video. But um, yeah, it was a hard decision, but I guess I'm gonna go with this one first because this is what I want to do first. Uh, just because I got home, I just got home from work and all that. <clears throat> and today is a alcohol I've never heard of before until I bought it, and that's called Doctor Stoner's. Now I've heard of Doctor McGillicuddy and all of his weird flavors, but this one is Doctor Stoner's. And this is smoky herb, smoky herb flavored whiskey. And what's funny is uh, it doesn't just say 42% alcohol. It says 42.0% alcohol. And it's going back to Dr. Stoner, 420, smoky herb. And um, it says on the back here, my special mix of herbs gives this whiskey a distinguished artisanal smoky herb taste and aroma to share with all your finest friends it's crazy good drstoners.net not a sponsor uh, distilled from grain bottled by Dr. Stoners Virginia Beach Virginia contains caramel color and naturally flavored and it's made by Blackbird Spirits I'm guessing I like that right there because it's got that crow or raven or whatever it may be and uh, one thing I didn't notice until I got in the car was I had this little tab on here I already ripped it but put it back on there for show anyways it says uh, cigar and spirits 2017 world spirit competition dr. stoners uh, flavored whiskey one number one flavored whiskey with 91 points so that shows its credibility right there. Go ahead and uh, set that to the side there. Go ahead and pour yourself a glass. Now, as you can tell, I've already had a night with this stuff, and it was a good night. Here we go with the cat again. I think the cat will be fine right there for a minute. But, uh,. Yeah, Dr. Stoner's, it's pretty clear, so pretty much a pea color. Uh, I guess the herbs kind of get the, the color out of it, because usually whiskey is a little bit darker than that. But um, let's go ahead, get a whiff. Now, just smelling it out of uh, here, it does not smell good. It smells, I mean, like fingernail polish remover. Now, don't let the smell fool you, because the flavor, like whatever herbs he uses, definitely uh, knocks the, f not not doesn't knock the flavor down. It knocks um, knocks the uh, the harshness down. So yeah, just uh, took a good old swig there. Now I still get the burn, but like I said, whatever <laughs> herbs he uses kind of calms it down a little bit. Still need a chaser though, not a sponsor. Yeah, this is a smoky herb and I'm drinking Arizona herbal tonic. <laughs> so it's uh, a lot of herbs tonight. But yeah, with the they call it a flavored whiskey, but this, I wouldn't necessarily call it a flavor. Now, it's it's unique, but when I think of flavor, I think of like cherry, um, uh, peppermint, you know, things like that. Now this, I mean, uh, there's flavor, but not any flavor I've uh, tasted before. Sorry if this video is going a little slow. I'm tired after work. But, um, 
yeah, I mean, Dr. Stoner's, there's only good things I can say about it. Like, uh, it's very mellow. <clears throat> it burns just enough to let you know it's alcohol. But it's very mellow. You don't really get that, uh, di like, disgusting face trying to drink it. This was 34, 35 bucks here in Virginia. And for 82 proof, I mean 84 proof, 42% uh, alcohol. Uh, that's pretty damn good. Would I buy it again? Yes. But of course, uh, here on this channel, we're not gonna see it for a long ass time again because I always like to try something new. And um, yeah, this, alcohol winning number one flavored whiskey in 2017 makes sense i definitely agree it's very good now the other whiskeys i drink they're mixed whiskeys but i wouldn't say they're flavored whiskeys but uh you know my favorite mixed whiskeys probably didn't make it towards the top of the list only because the stuff i drink is very cheap most of the time and stuff that when it, stuff that's winning competitions is probably more expensive, or at least you would think. Um, <clears throat> next video, I'm gonna do a shout out list. Sorry, it's been a minute for the shout outs, but uh, I want to give a shout out to Winnington Outdoors, uh, Berg's Dip Reviews, um, East Tennessee Dippers. Um, yeah, East Tennessee Dippers. If you're watching that video with your mother uh and i don't know if she i don't think she was in the video but she was in the background uh you know yelling and stuff that was hilarious had me uh rolling on the floor laughing you know what i mean um definitely go check him out and i think in one of his recent videos he was dipping on skull cherry and yeah not gonna catch me near that stuff too often you know if that's the only thing around, I might dip it, but yeah. He's dipping the stuff I'm not dipping, so that's one reason to go watch him. And uh, back to the review, Dr. Stoner's overall, I mean, I got to give it a 10 out of 10 just because, you know, the first, usually the first sip of any bottle of alcohol um, you get the most alcohol and not the most flavor, I would say. Because mm -hmm. alcohol floats, right? Pretty sure. Or is alcohol, or is it the other way around? Alcohol sinks. I don't know. Anyway, uh, usually the first sip, you get nothing but the straight harshness that you're going to, the most harshness you're going to get out of that bottle is from the first sip. That's what I'm trying to say. And the first sip of this bottle, I instantly fell in love with it. Um, usually, I, uh, alcohols don't do that to me. Like, Senator's Club, fell in love with that pretty quick. Uh, Jägermeister, fell in love with that. Um, but yeah, the list off the top of my head is very short when it comes to alcohols I drink that I instantly was like, ooh, I gotta get more. And this is one of them, Dr. Stoner's Smoky Herb. Now, do they have other flavors or other whiskeys of Dr. Stoner's? Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do my research on that. But um, yeah, definitely a 10 out of 10. Get another look at the bottle. We never looked at the guy in the back, I don't think. There's his little drawing there. Dr. Stoner's, you know, he, he's, uh, he's giving us the cure, you know, all we gotta do is drink, and I'll drink to that. See, even, I was, I would call that a regular, like, bar shot, and even with the big old shot, it's pretty smooth, I mean, a lot of alcohols, if you've seen my channel, 
I'll take the shot and then instantly take a chaser. And with some alcohols, you don't need the chaser. And this one right here has proven it. Uh, I got a straight face, took a big old shot, and I'm good to go. Don't even need the chaser on this one. But I'll see y'all in the next one. It will be a true review. And uh, I'll go ahead and let y'all know it will be the Outlaw Southern Sweet Tea review. And, um, yeah, I've done a tough guy suicide. Now I'm thinking about doing an outlaw suicide. But don't steal my idea, I right? It's mine. I, I thought of it. If you've already done it, that's great. I'm proud of you. But don't steal my ideas, homie. I'll see you there, though, whenever it happens. Pro out.